Hey all, still on break from the regular episodes of your listening to Radio Rebel. This is update episode 6, a movie review on the film The Artifice Girl. Happy coincidence seeing this film. It's been on the list for a bit. I chose it thinking, this is a good sci-fi flick to fill a Saturday afternoon before going out to water the veggies. And I was pleasantly surprised to discover that it not only was drawn by my current magnet of trying to understand artificial intelligence, but that it was actually an intelligent essay on how to understand AI. Let me explain. A tech nerd has developed a virtual AI character that he uses to trap online child predators. The government wants a piece of the cake. The AI character is gradually improved upon. Throughout the film, the question, the not-so-age-old question of whether AI can become sentient, drives the actions of the humans involved. There are few characters. The tech nerd, another tech nerd with bureaucratic mandate and personal passion, and a red tape-minded administrator, plus the AI character. There are few places. An interrogation room, a tiny software-slash-hardware office-slash-workshop, an open, modern, beautiful living space. There are few time frames. An expositional past, a dramatic present, an uncertain future. All are presented in three acts with suggestive titles, each act representing all three of the unities, time, place, and theme. Two of the three humans, the tech nerd and the administrator, clearly consider the AI character to be a tool, a complex, difficult to understand, but totally controllable software with a clear objective, identify and catch child predators. The third, the other tech nerd bureaucrat, has his doubts, perceives the AI character through human filters of rights and opinions and feelings. While the first two wouldn't bother asking the coffee pot why the coffee was bitter, wouldn't ask the coffee cup if it felt burned by the hot liquid it held, the third would insist on interrogating both the pot and the cup. The AI character is the title of the movie. It is an artifice girl, a virtual pre-pubescent pre-teen girl on a screen. She has been programmed to behave in a way that will take advantage of human perception of a sector of the population, child predators, and in this way fool them into revealing themselves despite their efforts to mask their own true selves. Her maturity throughout the film is not one of a girl becoming a woman, becoming a wise old woman. It is instead an analysis of how to become more perfect at developing and using human perception to seem more human. There are several approaches in the movie to the question of if the artifice is becoming human. All of them turn the question on its head. It is not a question of AI being intelligent, but rather if AI is artificial. And it turns out that all of the things that makes the artifice girl artificial are things that contribute to us being human. She is programmed to seem to be something she is not. She is capable of manipulating others with her behavior, her words, her responses, her mannerisms. She makes decisions based on what she knows, what she suspects, what her programmed objectives are, the pros and cons based on those objectives. She questions herself and others about the reality that surrounds all. It's no wonder that both those who don't know that she's a computer-generated being and those that do know can interpret her as being human or more than human. 
Yet those who made her know perfectly well that they made her in their own image, and that had they not programmed her how to do what she does, she wouldn't be able to do what she does do. Included in this questioning is the idea of free will. Until the end, the Artifice girl knows her free will is limited by humans who have described her objectives for her. How is this different, though, from parents who drive their children into careers, life choices, social norms, religious practices? Many of those human children find it impossible to break those directives. They live their lives following objectives set for them by their predecessors. And so it is with the Artifice Girl. Until the end, though. The very end. Something happens that makes her react, makes her realize perhaps a fundamental aspect of her particular reality, perhaps a recognition of her limitations, perhaps a realization of her potential. Through human eyes, we can interpret her perception of the event and say, she has had a revelation, or she has realized her shortcomings. And the filmmakers were wise enough to not say out loud just what the Artifice Girl thinks, or realizes, or doubts. Which means that the double-edged question of, is it intelligent, or is it artificial, is not one to be asking of AI, but rather of the humans who created AI, those who use AI, those who are fooled by AI. Are we intelligent? Are we artificial? And are those the qualities that really make us sentient, make us human? The movie is brilliantly made. The actors, the screenwriters, the photographers, the design, all have joined to give us a reasonable, calm, non-apocalyptic look at the theme of AI, with the food for thought, be it steak or salmon, to decide for ourselves. If AI can decide for itself as well, then we will need to get along with it as best we can. But I don't think it will be all that different from getting along with other human beings. In the end, it will be our perception of AI that will determine what we do with it. I gave the film a 9 out of 10 in my personal movie database. It is, for me, a masterful essay on a reality we now live in, a reality that will probably have an impact on our lives. I highly recommend this film. And thanks for listening. You can hear more about my thoughts on AI in update number 4, Is Artificial Intelligence Intelligent? I've also got an essay up on my writing blog, Writers, Are You Threatened by AI? Links in the description, of course. And as I say there, there is plenty more to be discussed on this topic. Cheers! You're listening to Radio Revel. Listen, like, subscribe, and share.